Buddhism is a set of practices and beliefs which is founded on the ideas of Siddhartha Gautama, more commonly known as the Buddha, or in Sanskrit, Awakened One. Although Buddhism is more commonly practiced in regions of Asia, it can be found nearly all over the world. The Buddha was born in present-day Nepal where he offered the people an escape from suffering and rebirth by introducing an alternative, achieving nirvana. Buddhism is commonly recognized as having three sects, Theravada, Mahayana, and Vahrayana. Despite the differences in these sects, the foundational practice in which a person takes refuge in the Triple Gem remains the same. The Triple Gem consists of the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Siddhartha Gautama achieved his goal of becoming Buddha after several days of meditation and then began teaching the path to true happiness. After becoming fully awakened, the Buddha acquired total wisdom and unreserved compassion to help others attain awakening. He is the embodiment of highest morality, deepest concentration, and perfect wisdom. Since he has realized the absolute truth, he can see things as they really are. The Buddha founded the religion of Buddhism, known as the Middle Way, by concentrating on meditation instead of ascetic practices and introducing the possibility of nirvana as an end to rebirth. The second part of the Triple Gem, Dharma, in Sanskrit refers to the teachings of the Buddha which led to enlightenment and the nature of life or experiences. His teachings are contained in the three baskets or the three books. First is the Sutra Pitaka, or Basket of Discourses, which are sermons that were delivered by the Buddha on various occasions and are written in conventional, simple language to allow for understanding of the ordained or untrained people. Second, the Vinaya Pitaka, or Basket of Discipline, holds the rules and regulations for monks and nuns taught by the Buddha. Lastly, the Abhidhamma Pitaka, or Basket of Ultimate Things, deals with higher philosophy and psychology of the Buddha. All of the teachings are a means of questioning a person's own cherished beliefs and views on life. Only once this questioning has opened the door to truth can the teachings be set aside. The last part of the Triple Gem is the Sangha, or a community that lives in harmony and awareness. The Sangha makes up a set of people who follow the Buddha and profess his teachings. In Sanskrit, Sangha literally means striking, as in striking at nirvana, more commonly understood as the harmonious or spiritual community. More specifically, there are a community of noble ones who have led exemplary lives and attained extraordinary insight into the true nature of things. A more restricted definition of the Sangha is monks or nuns, or ordained Buddhist practitioners. Another definition is people who have a direct perception of emptiness, whether they are ordained or lay people. Before the Buddha's death, he consented to nuns entering the Sangha, which at the time was an act of social activism, but demonstrated his virtue of dana, or giving. Even though the Sangha is often referred to as a refuge, it is not a refuge in the sense of being a place to hide. It is instead something that supports, refines, and nourishes the heart. Taking refuge in the Triple Gem is the first lesson of the Buddha follower. It represents confirmation of one's beliefs and Buddhist principles and dedication to practice. A person chooses to become Buddhist when they understand who the Buddha is and how the Triple Gem can provide them a way to end suffering and achieve awakening. A person must take, take refuge in the Triple Gem as a whole. None are dispensable and one cannot fully recover without all three. Together they alone help to liberate a person from their daily afflictions. Even if a person does not achieve awakening in this lifetime, one who takes refuge in the Triple Gem is more likely to have favorable conditions for attaining awakening in a future life. The analogy of the Triple Gem is doctor, medicine, and nurse is commonly used. Society is composed of a group of sick patients who need a qualified doctor to diagnose the causes of their illness or disturbing actions and attitudes. The Buddha is the qualified doctor who prescribes the medicine of the Dharma to all his patients. He is respected as the doctor for his diligence, mindfulness, and calmness. He is the only one to be followed as the ultimate spiritual guide. During his lifetime, he was known as a physician and psychologist who gave several subjects of meditation or medicine to the mind of certain individuals so that the various mental diseases with which they were afflicted would be radically remedied. In the same way that a doctor would diagnose a problem of the body, 
The B Buddha could diagnose this problem of the mind or spiritual world and provide a prescription for the correct medicine or meditation. The Dharma is the law of righteousness or medicine that is prescribed by the Buddha by way of the three baskets or books of Buddhism. The teachings need to be actively applied to daily life and relationships. Enlightenment comes to those who are vigilant, strenuous, and resolute in their practice of Dharma. Simply reading and believing in Dharma is not the same thing as practicing it. In teaching Dharma, Buddha taught men the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, important concepts of Buddhism. The prescription or practice offered by the Buddha in his teachings depends on the patient's or the Buddhist follower's problem or area of concern. The Sangha is the nurse whose life and achievements demonstrate by example that it is possible to progress on the path to enlightenment. The job description of the Sangha, or a spiritual community, as the nurse is to facilitate moral training and spiritual cultivation and abide by six guidelines. These six guidelines are to establish a mutual understanding and reach unity of thought, a just system and attain equality for all, fair distribution and be an economic equilibrium, common interests and attain an open mind, peace and comradeship through cordial speech, and harmonious interaction so that there is no infringement on personal liberty. The nurse or sangha is there to remind the common people when they forget to take their pills and which ones. If they have trouble swallowing the larger pills, the nurse can break them into smaller pieces. The nurse also helps to clarify when there is confusion about what is needed, which pills to take, or why specific pills were prescribed. Things that are difficult to do or understand individually are easy and natural within the community of the Sangha. As mentioned earlier, taking refuge in the Triple Gem is the first sanctuary of the Buddha follower. There are slight differences in how the sects view taking this first refuge. In the Mahayana and Theravada sects, the three refuge items are the Triple Gem, where refuge is the first item to becoming Buddhist. In the Vajrayana sect, the Guru is the first refuge, and then the Triple Gem, where the Guru is seen as the embodiment of the Triple Gem. There are ten worldly benefits to taking refuge in the Triple Gem. First, by committing in the Triple Gem, the person is formally acknowledging that they have become a follower of the great teacher, Buddha. Second, it is stated in the Sutra that one who takes refuge in the Buddha will not fall into evil paths. As the level of a person's faith progresses, it dignifies one's character. Also, in the Dharma Ending Era, those who have taken refuge in the Triple Gem will be protected from deities and respected forever. Another benefit is that those who are guided by the Triple Gem fare better in daily encounters. Later, the Sutra also states that merits derived from making offerings to Buddha or bu building pagodas to pay homage to Buddha relics are relatively less significant than the merits of taking refuge in the Triple Gem. By taking this first step, people can expect to see a reduction in their worries and an improvement in their good human relationships. It is only the first step of taking refuge that one can progress into acceptance of the five precepts, eight precepts, or the bodhisattva precepts. Lastly, with enough faith and the right conditions, all that have decided to take refuge will eventually be liberated even though it may be in the era of the Maitreya Buddha who is yet to come. There are secondary and primary and secondary guidelines to be followed when taking refuge in the Triple Gem. The primary or general guidelines are to simply find refuge in only the Buddha. Listen, study, and practice the Dharma to overcome delusions and respect and train in accordance with the Dharma through Sangha. The secondary guidelines are slightly more specific and include not following any lower be beings under the Buddha, avoidance of harming humans or animals, and avoidance of being negatively influenced by extremist or opposing beliefs. In order to follow these guidelines, one should attempt to follow the aspects taught by the Triple Gem. Specific examples of this include avoidance of speaking harshly in judgment, practicing ethics and vows, being kind and considerate to every living being, and making special offerings on two sacred days of Buddha. These two sacred days are the 15th of the fourth lunar month to celebrate birth, enlightenment, and death of the Buddha, and on the fourth of the sixth lunar month
to celebrate the first turning of the wheel or the first teachings of the Buddha of the Four Noble Truths. Another big aspect of taking refuge is respect. All images of the Buddha are to be respected along with related texts. The utmost care should be given to texts and robes worn by the Sangha. These guidelines are provided as only a start to taking refuge in the Triple Gem. As further guidelines to taking refuge in the Triple Gem, there exist six points of training regarding the sacred texts. They are